nice timing on the hero and you know he just causes too much trouble in the middle lane whenever he has the hero to play around with moreover you see the timasaur up ben's hero as well mm -hmm. he's really really good with the hero he can nuke down people and he's very very precise with, when it comes to the timing of the chakram and of course the whirling there mm. So yeah, clutch gamers just don't want to deal with that and will ban it off and as well as the invoker and the tinker. Hmm. Well I from what I've seen from the first two picks from Team Clutch Gamer, I have a feeling that they they have been training to play against Team Laundrid very good. Like like they have no worries at all to, to play against well one of the best heroes in this meta game, Laundrid. Uh, they reply with the Elder Titan, which is, I think, is is very good answer to the uh, to the bear. The Echo Storm can easily stop them, like you know. Right. So let me ask you a quick question here. Lone Druid before the 7.0 patch, you usually play Radiance on the bear, where you buff up the bear, and your hero actually is just more like an accessory, you would say. Mm -hmm. But for this one, Lone Druid has now been what well, he picks up a Dragon Lance, he go for Millstrom into a Scardi later on, right? Do you prefer the old build for Lone Druid or the latest one, personally? I think I prefer the, the old build. Really? Why? Um, I don't know, because because I have played it. You played it? <laughs> and yeah, now you never I, played I, it anymore? I, yeah, yeah I, I, I focus on my Spectre. Yeah. Yeah. But, but back then, I, I, okay. I, I haven't played the new Lone Druid yet, I admit. But <coughs> I... I Back then, Lone Druid with the uh, with the focus on the baby bear kind of like have more dimension to yeah. me. You know, they they can they can play more. Um, what's it called? Like uh, so many strat mm -hmm. around it. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to Lone Druid, yeah, it's pretty strong. But the pattern is the same every game. Yep. Like, okay. You know, trying to use that bear hanging around, waiting for the bear to have a root, and then same item every game. Don't do it. It's so easy to to predict how he's gonna play. Right. Uh, that that uh, that's my opinion about the new laundry. Fair think. enough. Fair enough. So let's have a look at the bands that are up. Team Bazaar here. A lot of the offlane heroes as well. We have the Centaur that's been picked up almost all the games that we watched today. We have the Slada as well being removed. The Owl Devourer as well as the Shadow Fiend here. So. Looking at the patterns here, both Clutch Gamers as well as Team Bazaar, they are removing the mid lane as well as the off lane, of course, aside from the Earth Spirit. Mm. So do you see a pattern here? Okay, Team Bazaar looks like they want to go for the Legion Commander here. So Legion Commander has been very, very hot. Has been a very hot pick during the Boston Majors, if I'm not mistaken, right? The last, I believe it was the semi-finals? Mm -hmm. Towards the finals where Legion Commander with the... With the press, the attack is, can just do so much for the team. And looks like Team Bazaar would like to revisit history here. Hmm, that's true. <coughs> team Bazaar. Sounds like Team Bazaar. <laughs> team Bazaar. Clutch Sounds like Balbasaur. Uh, yeah, Balbasaur. Balbasaur. Um, Clutch Gamers waiting for the float peak right here. What do you I think about the X pick? Do you think it's okay? Ember Spirits. So, I, 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 I like that Ember Spirits pick a lot. Um, to, because to deal with the laundry, you, mm -hmm. you're you going to need something that can fly over the front line mm -hmm. into the the laundry. And, and also, to play with laundry, that means you got to deal with some some fast pushers right. with the baby bear and papa bear, you know. Um, <laughs> and the Ember Spirits, you, you can just leave remnants yep, yep. In, in two places. You can just teleport down to, to defend the laundry and then mm -hmm. just fire remnant back to the place. Team Bazaar with an alchemist, their signature heroes right there. Alchemist, yeah. Hmm. Do you feel this is a bit of a greedy play coming from Team Bazaar here? You have a lone drake that needs quite a lot of farm. Legion, more or less as well. You need the Blink Dagger up or the Shadow Blade in some cases before it can really come up one line. Alchemist as well, another very farm dependent hero. I'm it's pretty sure that Team Bazaar have, have been screamed with Clutch Gamers a lot. And, and I think Team Bazaar know that uh, what playstyle that Clutch Gamer hates? Uh, well, uh, as the analysts say that Clutch Gamer might be very good on skills and teamwork and, and when it comes to team fight, they are super cool. But it's obviously the team Basai is trying to avoid it mm -hmm. and, and trying to farm it. You know, um, 
because the the here the core heroes that they have been picked long druid and legion commander cannot perform four to four one play the four protect one right yeah for, okay. the, you know, if you want to do the four protect one you're supposed to pick something like slaughter mm-hmm. or saint paul or, or right. something that can lead the gang but right. this is this is all farmers so they i i think they know how to play with clutch gamer and they 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 do this by intentionally to just to farm yep but the x pick though coming from clutch gamer here okay you have to understand how the mechanics of x work you must snowball with the hero. There's no such thing as, you know what, I can't snowball in the beginning and let's just save you for the mid game. Because X doesn't work that way. You must be able to snowball in order to help your entire team. You must get your blink dagger within a 10 minute time. Or your X is just really not going to be doing too much in the game. Moreover, you have an Ember Spree, a Crystal Melon, and an Elder Titan here. So let's talk about Perfect Dota here. How will their skills just synchronize together? Let's, let's start with Clutch Gamers. I mean, as gamers, yeah, it, it's it's pretty easy. They're just gonna start with the axe, mm-hmm. thinking, you know, um, trying to hope that axe can can do some berserk to call more than two heroes and then fall off with echo storm. All the spells is it, quite easy for Team Basar. They didn't even they didn't even want a combo. Right, exactly. They they they, they all they want to do is just all right. I'll put the pressure on you clash gamers if you can't win us late game you're gonna lose mid game and uh, i mean if you can't win us early game you're gonna lose mid game and late game it's easy as that and they having keep it alive just to hold the game on right yeah so, they, they, they just, they just want to shoot illuminate to defense yep they keep, understand that they need the high ground keep defense the, keep the creep wave far away from the tower they need time it's so easy they don't even need a combo for team Basar. they just want to farm Right, earlier on in the game, I believe you saw Team Bazaar going up against Execration, was it? They were losing the, the early game, they sort of come, came back towards the middle game, but eventually they still lost. Unfortunately, they, have, they, have, they played a lot of comfort heroes rather than strategy-based. So we'll have to see if Team Bazaar will be able to pull this off once more. So it looks like the final pick coming from Clutch Gamers here will be Klinks. I cannot just anyhow guess how they play, but I, I gotta admit I don't understand. Maybe maybe they just pick a claim for a casual pick, you know, ha- having claims to hunt down all the farm heroes, such as alchemists. They're farming in farm. Uh, claims can deal with alchemists. I mean, if he, he if he do some jungle walk and he see alchemists, he can shoot him down. in only like four or five hits. Oh, but per- I don't I don't think that that the, the, the main reason that they pick Klings. So. Well personally I feel they picked the Klings mainly because the lone Lundrid he plays from a far distance. The Klings you can envy up and actually go around the lone Lundrid and actually pick him off from there. So that would probably be one of the possible reasons why the Klings was the final pick here for Clutch Gamers. Right, while they do set this thing, we are in the game target. I'm gonna start from Basar in the radiant side. A full on Rubik, a Jit on Lone Druid, X No on Keeper the Light, Ben on Legion Commander, and Nana on Calchemist. Right, and aside of the Dire, we have Fly Solo on the Elder Titan here. We have Ebbing on the Klings, Hannah playing X, Armel, the 16 year old mid laner playing the Ember Spirits, and last but not least, we have Boombacks on the Crystal Maiden. Mm. Mm. So predictions, who do you think has the better, um, okay let's say they club up as 5, who do you think will come up on top? Who do you think gonna, I still don't know this, <laughs> ah, I'm just gonna go for it team Clutch Gamers then. Okay, okay, fair enough, I but, will still be, but, no, no, still be no, no, team I'm gonna, Bulbasaur. I'm, I'm gonna go for team Basar. So, so I have to play clutch game. I have to be with clutch Yeah, game, yeah, then? you have to be clutch game. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh my goodness. Keep it alight. No, the reason I pick I pick Team Bazaar is because they know exactly what they're gonna play. They they're gonna they're gonna play high. They they're gonna play like, hey, we're gonna play super defensive. We are not going to fight at all. We're gonna farm, farm, and farm. They know exactly how they're gonna play. Yep, yep. So we'll have to see if Team Bazaar with their fairly greedy pick, how will it work out here? Will they be able to overcome the overwhelming presence of Clutch Gamers? Or Seven, will they succumb to it? 
Seven, eight years ago, I used to be the team manager for the a uh, 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 Dota One team. Mm -hmm. And and back then, people are so crazy with two one two and, and and trying to play aggressive, ganking around, super right. aggressive, right? And I remember I am the first one who told my my team that hey, come on, don't gang so much, lah. Whoa, wait, now Arjit might get caught. Wow. Clutch gamers gonna see kill three body rune right from the start, man. Indeed, indeed. That is very good start for the clutch gamers. Good job, my team. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was... my team. You mean? <laughs> Back then, right? I I am the I I am the one who tells them that hey, you don't have to gang a lot. You you just have to make sure that. We just gonna pick three carries here. Three carries. Yeah, we don't. Okay. We don't even need any initiator back then. We just gonna pick carry every lane, and just make sure that we don't die that much, and we we, we can guarantee to win the the late game. And I I, I think that this team Bazaar seems to play the same. Oh, trying to do some body block by Team Scott Gamer. Oh, do you see what Fly Solo actually did? He used the Astral Spirit to hit this creep wave. The troll here, mm -hmm. and then the ancients. So he had like extra right click damage and just went whammy onto Nana here. You can see he was forced to tangle up, and you know what? Almost half his life was diminished mm. just because of that. Wow, that's pretty good technique. At uh, Eddie at TR said the team Clutch Gamer is is very good when it comes to individual skills. Uh, the knowledge about game is, is so good. So let's have a look at the bottom lane here. Hannah will be going up, you know, mono to mono with Ajit here. A range hero versus an axe. Should be able to get the uh, the upper hand. Mm. Top lane, we have the Legion Commander as well as a Keeper going up against a Klinks and a Crystal Maiden. So you, you have to make the guess this time. Who will be the one, you know, to be able to be on top? In this lane? Yeah, the top lane. Uh, yeah, I think it's, it's, it's gonna be Klinks. Because it's quite easy in in order of the, but but it seems like that Legion Commander last hit so good. He got two last hit, and almost the same. Uh, I'm sorry, he got eight last hit. Pretty much the same with the Clings, and he got two denies. Yep, his last hit is on par with the safe lane lone druid, so doing fairly well himself. But whenever his ports go away for. Picking up some runes or whatever, he's gonna get harassed so hard. Middle lane, Nana doing not bad against Ember Spirits. It's okay, it's not too far behind there. 11 as to 14 for our Mel. It's doing pretty decent. And moreover, the Alchemist can really just go back into the jungle with the stacks, of course, and just be able to farm back up. So, not too much of a problem for Nana there. Nana, 11 last hit. 16-6 for Armel. Armel only 16 years old. No, 16 last hit for a 16-year-old boy. Yeah, that's 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 right. That's it. Oh, I heard a roar. Looks like Hannah wants to go onto the bear here. Will be Echo Stomp up. Ajit from the back lines here. Looks like there will be at least a telekinesis trying to deny mm -hmm. the gold coming from the bear. Mm-hmm. Three, almost four minutes. Nothing much going on for now. It's all about laning phase. Yep. So both teams being very, very careful here. Not too much of a roaming potential either. Just going to be playing it safe for now. But clutch gamers though, they do have a Elder Titan as well as the Crystal Maiden. I'm pretty surprised they haven't actually moved as a unit. Now I kind of worry about team clutch gamers because um, with the heroes like this, it's like Team Clutch Gamer is starting the game with the handicap. Like, um, like if 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 they end the game r right now, um, Basar are gonna win because they got more hard carries. So um, to win this game, I think Clutch Gamer need to try harder than Team Basar. Yep, we have to see that on the top lane. We can see Abing as well as Bombax just walking through the tree lines. They're trying to. Possibly get an opening onto Ben, but being on the other side of the lane, he will not be caught off here. And look at the bottom lane here, Hannah just going whammy onto the creep, just pulling it out of lane. Mm. 
Leading on the last hit right now is the Ember Spirits. Got a very good farm. You know, it's so rare to see Ember. Oh, top lane almost die. Ah, Bing. Oh, he get illuminated and it seems like Ben just trying to scare him away. Meanwhile, bottom lane, a folk coming in. Elder Titan tried to drop some sentry ward to block the creep cam. Now he released his astral spirit. He's on a high ground, now, waiting for Afu. Punching on Afu. He's faster. He's gonna keep on punching. Oh my. Top lane tower about to drop. This is this is what they they really want. The the, the reason that they put keeper the light on the off lane is it, they didn't even care about um, killing the creeps of of Ben so Ben cannot farm. This is gonna keep try to take this tower down as soon as possible and get another tower. They're trying to get all the tier one down so quick in order to boost financial. I think. Yep, yep, and of course, with more towers, that means more gold for support. Oh, look at Bombax at the top lane, his yeah. life just went from from 100 to 0. Ridiculous, this guy didn't even go for Mana Lee, he went for level 2, Illuminate. Meanwhile, some action in the middle lane, but I don't think they can do much. I'm just gonna focus on top, because I was about to drop, oh, you know? Yep, the tower only at 139 life left. Looks like it might drop pretty quickly here as Ben as well as X Nova. We'll just look to attempt to take it down with the next creep wave. We can see a TP coming in as well from the Crystal Maiden. Bombax moving in. Looks like it will be a no, oh, no they, tower denied. Yeah, and four heroes of Team Clash Gamers on top. If Team Basar managed to defend, uh, I'm sorry, get away from that one. Oh no, not even get away. Armel diving in a little bit too deep, but he's dropping low. He's still on haste though, but I don't think he can get away. Trying to play some fire remnant, but he's running out mana. One hit, two hit. Armel still got a move to pick up the. Oh god, Armel, Armel. Oh, first blood by Armel uh, there. Uh, he didn't have enough mana for the last Fire spirit. Remnant, yeah, he need 150 mana for that Remnant. Yeah, he was down. What and... would happen if he just run and not picking up the Bowery Room? Ah, uh, that was uh, a little would bit... He die of... anyway, I think. Yeah, he probably would have still died there. And it was very fortunate that the Legion was also not at level 6 yet at the time. Otherwise, it would have been an easy dual damage coming from him. But hold that thought for now, as we can see Ben. Is going hammering on to Abbing here. Ah, freaking male! <laughs> that was that <laughs> was um, the first dive, and it was the first blood too. Like I said, I have a feeling that Clutch Gamers just start the game under pressure with all these heroes, the Team Bazaar. Well, yeah. even though they know that early game they are better, but deep down inside, they they, they have a feeling that they could have rushed this game. Oh, Nana ping out the Observer, what instantly gets a deny there. And looks like the attempt coming out from Fly Solo was thwarted. Uh, what I noticed is this game Illuminate is so good, man. Yep. Hit almost 100%. And you can see the item choice for the Keeper the Light here, X Nova. Just, you know what? I don't even need Tranquil Boost, I'm just gonna go for X Scepter right away. Yeah. Where he picks up the Point Booster here, you know, just ready to go. He's ready to go all man up onto CG here. That is so tactical play from Team Bazaar. They, they really know what they want to do. And, you know, normally when they got the tower, they, they pretty much leave the lane, but Bazaar still keep on pushing. Right, and now Hannah picks up a blink dagger of his own. So looks like CG will have an extra way to initiate into the fight here. And by the looks of it... That's very fast. Yep, and eight and a half minutes blink dagger. That's How fast, fast can you farm a blink dagger, yeah. Cyclops? Um, five minutes? <laughs> five minutes? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> you should be in TI, bro. Uh, no, TI is too... Too small? Yeah, too small for me. God. T-Universe. No, uh, T-Universe. Okay! <laughs> so, guys, you heard it. Cyclops will be joining the universe. Yeah. 2017! Oh, wait, wait, wait. In the middle lane, trying to dive in. Now, Artit, with, with that, um, oh, wait, top lane, might get caught, it's gonna be that Keeper of the Light, oh, he, he, wait, oh, god, oh. big mistake by Hana, oh. he's trying to chop down, but it seems like it's just, doesn't low enough, 
and keep it like got away just like that. I'm pretty sure that that scene would affect their moral for sure. No doubt about it, and Bombax was a little bit too far away to cast off the Crystal Nova, and hence the Keeper of Light was able to survive by so little HP Cyclops. That was that was a sight to behold. No, no, that that was, I, man, that will hurt the team spirit of Team Clash Gaming, Clash Gamers. And looks like Bazaar here wants to have a. You know, a taste of the tier 1 towers has very little le life left, only 397. Even the flying rock keeping on to fly solo here to make Bro. that too. Right now, everything are on Team Bazaar side. Everything just like what they, they vision before the game start. Alright, let's get three hard carries in this game and farm the hell out of this. And that, that is exactly what they, what they thought. Now, even a Bing. Need to stop farming and start ganking. Yeah, but he doesn't really have enough items just yet though. But oh, look at this. Looks like Hannah as well as Abing will be able to get a kill onto Ben here. That's good. That's good. Can I, they're gonna keep that coming. But at the, well, at the same time that they're ganking one down, two hard carries farming. Alchemist and Legion Commander. I'm sorry, and Lone Druid. Right, you can have a look here at how much space Bazaar is giving to X Nova. He's just constantly spamming out the spells. He's not rotating, he's not doing anything. Bazaar just wants to prioritize the X on the Keeper. Clings. Just like I said, I, I actually earlier, much, much earlier than I thought, that Kling started ganking around. Bottom lane, Ember Spirits, and trying to cut the creep wave. Kling scouting. I think Team, Team Bazaar knows that Kling is not so far away. It doesn't matter. Dragon Lance gonna be the next item for Lone Druid. Oh, looky here. Looks like the smoke will pop here and Abbing. Do they have any detection? No, they don't. 3v3 at the bottom lane. Another two moving in, which is gonna be Axe and yep. Elder Titan. Take but, a look um, closely. Just have a remnant that he actually just moved in through. Yeah. Looks like they want blood here. Hannah moving in with the call. And just Abby just casually right clicking that. Do they get the kill? Rooted now. Nana, very, very low on health. Looks like he will fall here. Do we see the dunk? Nope, not even needed. And yeah. it looks like we'll be seeing a duel possibly. The question is even though they, uh, they lose hard carry, but can they get something out of this one? Clutch Gamer seems to nail two heroes. Um, well, that's not good. This time, not good this time for Bazaar. Yep, indeed it's not. Two big cores on the side of Bazaar here falling. The Alchemist as well as the Legion Commander. So, Bazaar have to be <laughs> very, very careful in terms of the positioning from now on. They need how, to get more sentries. How, ses uh, how desperate Team Clutch Gamer is. They they even quit. Who cares about farm? We are so desperate. We're just going to keep ganking training around. Like, like Dota 1. Remember that in Dota 1, we, we have like four of, or, or five, uh, three or four heroes training all, training all the time for, yep. we, uh, for Protect 1. And that four hero never care about farm. They're just going to gang, 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 gang. I, I think Team Clash Gamer is doing the same thing now. They got no choice. Yep, they definitely have the better ganking position here. You have the clings to just scout out. You know, throughout the whole entire map, and Bazaar don't really have too many sentries up just yet. Understanding that they are prioritizing the eggs, and Rubik not doing too well in terms of gold for himself. If they started doing like this, they're gonna do it the whole way. Yeah. Like, I mean, go the, the whole way, like until the end. They can't stop. They, they they can't do like halfway. Like, hey man, let's do let let's take a break la. Have a little farm. No. <laughs> if you started again against these uh, three hard carry teams, you gotta keep going. And that is what they are doing. Ember spirits. The oh, this is the real Filipinos. Uh, Dollar two. This is gonna keep dive. Keep diving with the Pinoy pride. And looks like Clutch Gamers, they want to get something done in the bottom lane here. Clumping up is 4 and Afu will be the first to get spotted out. 
but Hannah moves Ooh. in with a beautiful call. Cyclops, what's happening here? Yeah, they, it's call on two, and that was exactly two down instantly for Team Clutch Gamer. Actually, three almost, and it's three diving in for more. I told you, if you started this way, you would got to go the whole way, man. I mean, if you go full retard, you're gonna go half retard now. Right. You gotta go. You gotta go now. And uh, they're doing so good. One eight. One eight is the score. The fight recap. Let's open it up. That was a one point three k goal exchange, goal gain from Clutch Gamers here, and they are just oh, stomping around. Alchemist with a direct radius. <laughs> that is super crazy farm from Nana. Now that it, it and I, you know. Cards in this game, you know what I'm. Um, um, I feel like it's the battle between Yin Yang. Yin and Yang. Yeah, it's like it's like fire in and water. The the other guy is just trying to play defense. The other guy is just like, oh my god, this is this is this is very interesting, Matt. Brian. Yeah, but all all isn't lost just yet, though. Nana with the alchemist can certainly bring back the game here. And now does he jump in? Nope. Looks like there won't be a call from him Let's today. Take a look at the grab to see what happened. Even though the grab looks, uh, I mean the score looks pretty cool for Clutch Gamer, but the grab shows that it's not that far ahead from each other. And this is the items update. They gotta keep going, man. Don't stop. Abbing. Inside. Oh, Nana. Now they're catching Nana, Nana this not time. like this, Nana. One nine for sure. And it looks like Afu might get picked off as well. He has the remnant for now, but Bombax is very, very close by. Frostbikes were still on cooldown, so looks like Afu will be able to get out alive. Mm, and let's go back to the middle lane in the river. Is a fight between Ajit and Hana. A very nice control by Ajit uh, using the bear to chase Hana away. One to nine game score. It's only one kills away from the first 10 kills. Better be careful. Here we go, Ajit. Ajit's getting frostbite. Nice press the attack to save his teammate, but still on the run. As you can see, they can't stop ganking. They're ganking like a madman for Team CG right now. Man, I, I, it's been a while since I see this kind of crazy gank. Now look at that. They're going in for Ajit. Man fight between the bear and the clings. Spirit bear. So let's have a look in terms of itemization here. Looks like Elder Titan will be going for a new scepter of his own. This is a good way to really kite off the Legion Commander. Imagine if he comes in for a duel. All you have to do is just pop that Yules and, you know, he'll be just twatted down for a good, what, two and a half seconds, I believe? Yeah, two and a half seconds. Man. Alchemist. On his way to the Boots of Travel. Nana used Alchemist to, to win over Team White Fries, and that game that he win over White Fries, mm -hmm. his DPM was around like 1.1 1. 1 something. About 1.1 1. 1 game? Yeah, and, wow. that, and that was like uh, 11th highest DPM on Alchemist in competitive mm -hmm. game, because the highest is around like 1, uh, 1.250. Okay, yes. yeah, 1.250. Oh, looks like there might be a little bit more fight going on here. Ajit did dominate the Centaur. But looks like it won't stop them from actually attempting to take the tier 1s as it's dropping up very, very quickly here. Frostbite and oh no, a death pack onto the Centaur instantly brings it down. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I missed the kills over there. It seems like Nana dies somewhere around at the bottom lane and still insists to go in a team fight on top. Yep, that was with the help of Hannah, of course, moving in with the blink and the blade mail. Nana was just practically hurting himself. Amber Spirit just swooped in and killed him easily. By Remnant in very nice, a copy pass already, you know, the fire Remnant and catch that Crystal Man and gonna be another kill for Team Basar. That was actually the second kill. Nice time to run. Ben press the attack, running away from his enemy. Coming in quite fast, it's a, the Ember Spirit ready to fly in. Here we go, the fire Remnant searching for the X Nova. Now, nice one, a searing chain, locked out X Nova, burn him down. He's trying to throw that flashbang to create some distance between him and the enemy. Look oh. at that! Oh wow! Uh, that... In the trees? Oh no! The dream! 
was juked. Oh, yeah. and X No is so close to his X scepter as well. Ah, Just no. 300 gold away. My goodness, this is this is. They fight like so. They are so desperate for Team Clutch gamers. I never seen this kind of game before. I mean, lately, because th these kind of games always happen in Dota One. Mm -hmm. Like where the other team just pick all the farmers and the other team just play um, playing bad cops trying to catch them all <laughs> This is cool trying to catch them all. You just reminded me of Pokemon yeah. Yeah. Pokemon go. I don't know why the game like down so quick Cause you, you, you play Pokemon go? No, I never did never enjoyed the game though. Did you? I never uh, but but I just I just kind of surprised that they, they were like very popular at that time, but then exactly that suddenly just disappeared. Yep, and the sentry over the bottom lane does spot out Abing though, and instantly Rubik just turned tails. You know what Afu says? I'm not going there at all. Keep in mind that they have limited time for Team Clutch Gamer. They only have around 15 minutes more. In yep. my opinion. About 20 minutes into the game, 11 to 2 is the score here. Bizarre, they have to make something happen here. This this is the problem with all that farming needs, the farming requirements that they have. Of a hold that thought for now as Hannah moves in onto Ajit here, the call, and that might not be it. Nana gets initiated onto, and a duel casted onto Armel as well. At least they get a kill onto the Ember. But that was in exchange of Ajit, and looks like Hannah might be next to fall as well. Tries to call, sustain himself a little bit longer, mm. and the Culling Blade will not kill oh, off Ben. Oh my god, that is to come back right there. You know, all Basar need to need it just one win in team fight, and that's what they got. That that take a look at the experience and go swing. And now the other supports being chased out by Nana. That's gonna be a very easy kill by Nana. Nana take him down. Now the radiance actually affect that up being so he cannot hit properly. That's another free kill by Team Basar. Right, and all in all, looks like Bazaar is ha finally having a grip onto the game here. And looks like X Nova finally finished up his Axe after here. So this is going to be a little bit more of a pushing potential coming from Bazaar here with the heals coming from the Illuminate, you know, the Daylight Vision, the Graph. The Graph is passing back to Team Bazaar right now. Well, here we go. Skeleton Walk. I am pretty sure the clutch gamers didn't expect to see something right like this. This is a very weird strat from Team Bazaar. Ah, uh, being running away. Nana is moving to the top for more farm. Getting closer and closer is Benta's style. Never refuse gold given. Mm, Alchemist. Doing pretty okay, I would say. His Radiance was a little bit late early on. Normally, when you have played the Alchemist, you want to have your Radiance up uh -huh. within the 11th or 12th minute. He got it, I believe, at the 14th minute. So that kind of uh, halted his farm a little bit more. But let's have a look at the Roche Pit here. As looks like CG are attempting for it. CG doesn't have much time left, man. I, I, I really like this kind of game because it's... It's, it's, um, it's not... It's not like stale. Yeah. There's yeah. always action. It's always action packed, right? It's not boring to watch. Mm. And it looks like Roche will finally fall here. Abing should be the one to claim the Aegis of Immortal. Moving in, X Nova tries with tries to, you know, to get the kill onto the Roshan with the Illuminate. Unfortunately, it was a little bit too late. Here we go, Alchemist. 1.8k gold in his pocket right now for the Alchemist. Uh the S spray has been down. What what's gonna be his next item? Ocarina core, or just go for some um some fighting items like Black King bar instead of go for the Ocarina? You mean um Nana? Yeah, I believe you'll be going for the Octarine core. You really need it to sustain your illusions with the push mm. because the Radiance Burn with the Octarine Magical Life Steal is gonna be able to help it with the push. So Octarine should be the wiser choice here. Moreover, when you have a you have a BKB, but I don't think it will help them too much 
at the moment here. You don't want you don't really want to buy a BKB too early into the game, mainly because you will just quickly use up all the BKB charges. Mm. Still hunting around for that clings ping. Ah ping. Uh, being picked up the Barry Rune. 3.4k go in uh, being pocket. While the Radiance gather up on the bottom lane, but it seems like Clutch Gamer knows that there would be something happen. They all teleport down. They're all ping where Team Bazaar is. Boom backs. Elder Titan is here. Fly solo. Everyone is here. Ajit easily get the tower with the range. But they need to be careful about Hana. Somebody teleport down. It's gonna be. Hana already called the bear, so it's gonna be easy. 300 gold. Small consolation prize there, but looks like Armel isn't done here. Finds a fool and a kill onto him as well. But it looks like that is all she wrote as a bear as well as our food does go down. But it doesn't matter because it doesn't matter how many they kill now. It's all about the creep they put. If 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 you if you can kill but you can't take down the objective, if you can't push the creep way back into Team Bazaar, you're gonna get split pushed to date by that alchemist. Exactly. And not to mention Lone Dread also pretty good with just moving yes. around. You know, he does have the rabbit, so he's able to, you know, he has just so much movement speed. Look at his movement speed now, it's at 462 constantly. That's almost as good as he is. Almost. Mm. What they need to do is just trying to push, like, one way, trying to force Team Bazaar to come back, or, or trying to deal the damage to the tier 3 tower when they can. Oh, top lane, looks like they want to try onto Armel here. Let's channel up the concoction, but... Looks like Armel was a little bit too quick for them. That was pretty risky. So Armel, looks like he's not going to go for the conventional Octarine core. But we'll be going for a Mjolnir this game. Go for what? The Mjolnir. 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 Oh, my yeah. bad. Yeah, just like, just like a cat. Mjol. Mjolnir. Mjolnir, okay. Yeah. So that's, that's a Psychops way of saying it. Or oh, is it that right way? I'm not so okay. sure. So I'm, I'm at the point of teaching somebody accent, <laughs> yeah, like how to pronounce things. Oh, God. We should have a class, though, like how yeah. to speak yeah. like Cyclops. How, how about Chowfing? <laughs> <laughs> My God. I'm looking at the top lane, looks like they want to get you know, another try on the Armel here. Both them hiding in the trees. Ben does have to get a quick blink in. Indeed, he does. And looks like Armel might fall here. Will it be long enough? Oh! No! He got away with 150! Armel! 150 ringgit! <laughs> <laughs> That's so cheap! Oh, man. What a cheap gang coming out from Team Bazaar. Telekinesis uh. is back. And now, here we go. On oh, the split earth, moving in, hitting only onto X Nova for now. And, hmm. Looks like Clutch Gamer will back off here. Ah, Bing. Farming not so far away. 5 to 13 games score. This game is going to be a super tense game. I think. Mm. By the looks of it, it will be. See, as seeing now how Klings does have the ages of a mortal. I CG. think so. You know, you definitely want to capitalize and use it. It's like, you're not going to let it stay in your pocket and just melt away, right? Yep. But uh, Ben. But, as you can see, they, they got to keep it alive to, to push the lanes. They, that keep it alive even bought a gem. He got a lot of gold, man. That is, that is very good. Maybe that's that's a reason why keep it alive is so popular lately. Yeah, especially the past day that we've been casting, I've been seeing a lot of Keeper, a lot of Centaur this game. So let's have, a look at the, let's have a look at the talent tree here. Hmm. For Elder Titan, he does have a negative 20 seconds respawn time, so he will be able to just move right into the fight whenever he needs to. On the side of the Klings, we have a 30 Searing Arrow damage as well as Magical Resistance. Hmm, probably the illuminate just a little bit too much for him, right? Eh? All those, all those minus respawn time talents, it's it's getting more in this latest patch, right? Yep. They, they, they just add in more. I think that, well, what's what's the reason behind Vow adding all these stuff? 
It it because it's because when you play a certain game the same way for too long, it gets really stale and it gets boring. So no, I I mean specific for the miners. Cool. Uh, I I can't really answer that though because I'm not too sure as well. Maybe they they're trying to make the game more fun and makes people wait uh, let's wait. Yep. So just adding a little bit more of a you know more of a variation of the game. So I removing the so. stats, adding a talent tree there. Oh, Nana, as well as Armel, just got, just got baited. Oh, it's just realized. To be honest, I am so ashamed that I just, I just realized when you, when you talk just now that they actually remove stats and replace it with talent tree. Um, yeah, it, it happens in 7.0. Yeah, it's in the 7.0. Yeah, I know, but <laughs> I was like, I admit, I I was like, hey, something, something missing. But but I I was so happy with the talent tree, right? So like, oh, I'm cool. But yeah, I just realized. Thanks, man. <laughs> You're welcome. Hmm. So let's just jump back right into the game here. So, Cyclops, what do you think that Bazaar needs to do now to really bring things back? Towards their favor. I I don't think Basar need to do anything. It it it. The question is, I think now Basar jumped in and trying to catch. Oh God, that that was a lost duel. Ah, uh, Bing was a winner. He popped the Black King bar, and now the team big team fight coming out right after that, spinning around with a Black King bar on. But Ajit free attacking on a high ground. Uh, very good positioning by Ajit. Plus he got a long range, so he he. Pretty much clean everyone down. However, Basar lost three, but it's just I think Team Clash Gamer took too much damage to just trying to high ground next. Six to sixteen. Six to sixteen. So Abing looks to be getting the blood on pretty soon as well. So he's gonna be right clicking a lot, a lot more here. And then Alchemist, despite him having so much health regeneration, is not mm. gonna be able to do too much. Especially not when you get silenced before uh -huh. you pop your ultimate. Um, uh, yeah, like you asked me just now what Bazaar need to do. I, I think the question is what Clutch Gamer need to do now because when it's getting late. It's gonna be Bazaar. A hundred percent late game Bazaar is going to win unless you, they they just make a clumsy super big mistake. <laughs> right. That's the thing quite true because an axe really falls off towards the late game, you know, you're not gonna be able to do too much. You your spins no. will just practically tickle the heroes in the South BZ. Yeah, they, they, they don't have to do anything at all for, for team Basar, they just keep on farming. So all practically right. what you're saying is just just do what they're doing and buy just farm, time, right? Just farm. You know, they don't have to do something like super special smoke and they didn't even need that. Just farm. That's all they need to do. If you take a look at that hero, that hero doesn't have any sing, you know, to each other. Mm -hmm. They don't have synergy. So it's all about farm, get items, hit them with a the goddamn money. <laughs> That's all right. True. Fair enough. And right now, looks like BZ <laughs> are the ones in the driver's seat here. We might be seeing Sorry. a backstab coming up from CG. They are smoked up for the second. What's happening, Cyclops? Okay, sorry, all with the uh, telekinesis back. Do you even live or die so fast? Uh, for Team Bazaar, and another down. Uh, but they lost call heroes already for Team Clutch Gamer. Next one is going to be that Legion Commander flying over that Legion Commander down already. Three. Now the one who got left is Nana. Nana is the biggest threat for Team Clutch Gamer. He keep on slashing everyone. He's trying to chop them all down. Still keep on chasing. Moving around with 434 movement speed. Now he's reaching, reaching the target. Hana tried to increase armor to himself, but look at her diving in the tower. Kill them all down. Come on, one hit away. Still on Sanctuary. Another unstable concoction comes out with the AC spray. He's chopped him down. No, you don't want a man fight with that alchemist. Uh, flying in. Ajit coming out from nowhere, saving his teammate. Uh, now they lost the core heroes. Oh my. Oh, That's what I'm talking Ajit. about. That's the power of item. The fighting over on that Ajit. Ajit dropping quite low, being hit by Fly Solo. One hit. Ajit dropped. And that was the gem as well. What a fight. Wow, okay. Um, what happened with CG was the clings yeah. just fell just way too quickly. Despite him having the BKB there, you know, the constant right clicks coming from BZ was just too much for him to handle. Mm. And it just fell like a fly, one by one. 
and even Man. the axe. Look at the damage done by the uh, by the alchemist. Almost 10k damage done. While Klings only do around 1.8. Yeah, Klings did die pretty early now. Yeah, Ember Spirit did around like 6k damage. Oh my, alchemist. Now he's on his way to something. I think it was his next item. Should be the um. Yeah, that abyssal blade. I hear a Rubik, recall. Rubik, Rubik. Roshan is up and ready. If BZ or CG wants to take it, so you can see them clumping up at the rush pit here. Uh, here we go. Alchemist, Abyssal Blade, and Menta Style, Octarine Core. Assault Crash, he's already maxed. Now maybe it's time for Egg and Scepter for his teammates. Yep, so who can benefit from an Egg Scepter? The Ruby can benefit, the Lone Dread as well. Keeper obviously doesn't need one anymore. Blade Jack Commander also. Yep. Indeed, so three heroes there. So a lot of potential growth coming up from Team Bazaar despite the Alchemist maxing out his own. Team Bazaar, this is the first time I saw them using smokes on Team Clutch Gamers. Oh, but the smoke though, it's like there will be no self stun as Nana was able to just juke, just block that with the Manta style. See how fast it can take down that Roshan. Roshan fell, falling fairly quickly now. CG, do they have any in information of what's going on here? They do have wards? No, they don't. They're gonna send in the Astro of Spirit first, and that's a Roshan for the Radiance. Pick it up by Laundry. Bottom lane. Wow, bottom lane. Power almost down by that Klings. Pretty nice rat. Yep, indeed. Power of the rat. I think Klings need to go for something like a blink. Spread he already maxed. He's gonna go for Bloodthorn next and then he's maxed. Let's have a look at Ajit here. It's not doing crazily well with the laundry at this moment here. 15k in terms of net worth has the pike as well as a Mjolnir for his own. Bear is not gonna be holding any items at this point. Moving forward, this meet onto Armel. Armel. Not the fan of our mail, you know. You're not? I'm using Gmail. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks for the laugh. That, that was a fairly good joke. It took me a while to get it, but... <laughs> it, it's funny, it's funny. <laughs> no. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but, <laughs> just give me a moment to keep getting my composure back. <laughs> <laughs> what? Ah, oh, thanks. Right. <laughs> Sorry, eh? <laughs> Let's take a look at the item update, right? <laughs> yes, we have to. <laughs> oh, Matar. Oh, that is pretty big. Um, uh, that is pretty big, like... Item gap between two teams. Let's take a look at the graph. Right. You look at the graph by yourself. Wow, wow. I, I can see yours too. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> but you know, it's it's pretty equal in terms of network. But when it's come of the experience, Team CG was so far ahead. Uh, let's yep. take a look at the levels. Yep, that's, that's uh... mainly because of how Nana is with the Alchemist. If you have an Alchemist, it's it's a given fact that you will have higher net worth compared to your enemy heroes. Let's take a look. Who already got some Acronym Scepter? All right, let's have a look. And we haven't buy agony for anyone. Cheap skate guy. <laughs> now he's just gonna keep um, uh, money for around like four point one k gold in his pocket, trying to um, keep it for the buyback first. Right. Let's take a look at the buyback status. Uh, both both teams on the other side of the map here, trying to. Probably bait one another to initiate a fight, but Gmail, according to Cyclops. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> just, just moving from no, left man. to right. Uh, no, bro, this is gonna stay. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
Ah, uh, Mjol? Mjolnir is already. Now it's, 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 it's becoming that... This is not good for Clutch gamers. I mean, I, I don't think their heroes can fight late game according to the heroes. But as I said, if Team Bazaar made some uh, clumsy mistake, they can easily lose too. Yep, things have definitely taken for a turn here as Team Bazaar is the one that's in the driver's seat. They are leading the pace here. As CG are just so afraid to just go up high ground, you know, you have the constant eliminate, hence why you have no creeps to push. You have the bear to really tank up the creeps as well, if needs be, so... CG, they really have to find a good opportunity to really start fights here. As you can see, you, they have so much combo potential. They have the um, the Axe Call into the Earth Splitter, and they have as well the Freezing Field, but they're not utilizing it. They're not getting the combos off in time. Now that Nana already level 25, he just got his 30% uh, lifesteal. That's gonna play a big part in the fight next time. Power about to drop. Now maybe it's time for Team Bazaar to stop um, farming and trying to push. They are much, much stronger in terms of the... Oh, what is going on there? Rex gone, I didn't even know. Yep, the power for Red off the clings here. They, that, that's the thing CG really need to do now. They have to try and distract with the other heroes often on the side of CG here and hopefully they pray that you know, the clings will be able to just rat. But the thing is, it's just a ranged rex on the side of BZ here. It's not the end of the world yet. Mm. Do you think we're gonna... Will we get to see the base race? Base race this game is very, very likely. We'll have to see how CG really attempts to go for this. Mm. Well, I would love to see a base race. Like what we, what we experienced earlier in the day. Yeah, that yeah. was that was blood that was so crazy. But may maybe a base rate with around like 15 minutes would be great. Yeah, yeah, that was as good as your yeah. Gmail Gmail joke. Yeah, not not a base rate like 80 minutes or 90 or. Bye la, caster. You have been casting for like 10 hours, the uh, 10 games yesterday for 10 hours in a row. Right, right here. That was that was crazy. You can see Amel here just casually trying to push you know, the creep wave onto the top lane here. Nana moving forward as well. It's going to be denying the push. And we'll have to see what he goes for next. He has a BKB in his backpack here and as well as 8.4k gold. Does he go for an Ag Scepter or mm. possibly a Moon Shard for himself? Yeah, he still can. He still got slot for Moon Shard. Uh, until he like... Come on, I, I think it's time to buy his friend some Ag Scepter. But who can really benefit from an Axe Scepter though? If you pass it towards the Rubik... Anyone. There's not much good spells to steal. I mean, okay, you have And then the... pass it to the, um... Legion Commander? Hmm. Legion is okay too. You give him the extra stats. And yeah, at least you give him duel, some stats. Right? Yeah. So yeah, we have to see if this... If this Alchemist will be a cheap skate and, you know... Get a Moonshot or will he be giving? And pass an Axe Scepter to his teammates here. Hmm. So, Bizarre, they are moving to attack the last remaining Alter Tower on the side of the Dire here. And now moving in, pops out the BKB as well. Dropping down very, very low. Ajit instantly melts there. And looks like Bizarre will have to disengage here. Oh, Nana self-stunning himself. And Amel moving forward as well. No! Bizarre, what's going on here? No. Ben looks to fall as well. Three down on the side of Bizarre here. The double kill for the Axe. Bad communication because uh, that... Actually, they, they were about to go back, and then they cancel their TP and trying to fight. And they go in and they die too, so all their core heroes die. The only left is support. Now it's time to fought the core hero to do a buyback. Yeah, but let's have a look at the buyback status here. They all got buyback, no worries. They're quite rich. They might have to force Alchemist to do a buyback. And if they catch again within 5 minutes, they, they're gonna get a rack for sure. Yep. I have to see how CG will capitalize. Ah, on was this. bottom lane, ready to ready to go in. It seems I didn't know. Here we go, Abing. Sorry, the barrack. Yeah. In. Here we go. He's... Come on, go up and sorry. Oh, buyback forced, and CG instantly just moves back away. It's like you know what, guys, we forced the buyback. 
that that's good enough for us. So right now at this moment here, none of the heroes on the side of Bizarre have any buyback at all. Hmm. Have to be very very careful with the amount back already, right? Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. <sighs> they gotta try kill Nana again. It, yeah. it actually happened to Nana once. And he died without buyback, and then he lost the game just like that. Yeah. Exactly. It, it was it was in the um, if I'm not wrong in open qualifiers. So Alchemist does pick up an Axe Scepter this time. So but, oh, the Black King Bar, what are you gonna do? Running away, but he's st still stuck in a duel. Nana was so mad, this guy. Hey, come on, you keep... Saw my Barak and then... Topped him down, Nana got him. That was a little bit too ambitious coming from the Kling stairs. You know that there was no creeps at all. Trying to backdoor, that's true. So, you can see the desperation CG have at this point. Like, they need to make something happen or like you said they will just lose the game here you have a legion commander that can scale except um he, he can just continue scaling and just getting more and more damage here 42 damage in his pocket already and it's not going to be the end of it mm. now the whole team small trying to find someone in middle keep uh, the light and looks like Ajit got the Eye of Scuddy of his own. So he's gonna be able to be dishing out quite a lot of right click damage and slows. So... Ajit, right? Yeah. Top lane Alchemy is still defending. He, he gonna push out the top creep wave and maybe just gather up his teammate using the boost of travel. Yeah, like I said, he already got an Aghanim Scepter. For Legion Commander. But this guy gonna have increase and in makes Legion Commander and Yep, so he'll be able to duel a lot longer. And yeah, one thing that's really yeah. good is only either of uh, only the dual units will be able to, to damage each other. So yeah. imagine if you can land it onto the Crystal Maiden, or oh, that is free damage. Free damage, yeah. Free kills. Yeah, okay. free kills, free damage, free everything. How long or more? Uh, eight. 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 Yep, eight seconds. So it's gonna be more than enough to kill off the Crystal Maiden if needs be. But look at the Roche Pit here. This would likely be a trade here as RG takes down the tier 2 but have no, they have no information on the Roche Pit at all. And looks like it will be a cheese on top of an Aegis for CG here. Yeah. 46 minutes in, they're trying to harass the tower with the illusions of the Alchemist. But it was easily cleared by a uh, clutch gamers. This kind of game happens a lot. Yep. In in the main qualifiers. I don't know why. The the game duration of main qualifiers is um I mean average is around I'm pretty sure average is around like forty minutes. Every game is a long game. Oh, Bombax, what are you doing? Moves in, the duel, no frostbite for now, the, the Glimmer Cape. And Armel, here he comes to save the day. Hannah moves in with the call as well. Looks like we'll be seeing a dunk here. Nope, not even needed. One down on the side, make that two. And Alchemist, looks like he, Nana wants to try and clean up house here. Can he do it? BKB's up, tries to move in. Gets a call, Armel blinks over the, the entire fight. Tries to work on to Arfo, indeed gets oh. the kill. And Ajit, oh! Alchem is down and that's it, shit! Oh my god! No buyback, double kill Arbing. The thing is, they kind of forgot that Team Clutch Gamer got an Aegis and a cheese. Yep. And, oh, let, let me ask you a very, very important question, Cyclops. Clutch Gamers is mine, right? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, because I remember it's, uh, uh, it's my team. Can't remember. No, yeah. you can't now. Yeah. Why? Then why are they backing out? They're supposed to end the game right here, right now for Clutch Gamer. It's time to push in and finish the target. Because they're gonna have to defend without the strongest hero for at least one minute. That is enough to end the game. Or maybe, oh, diving in. They're trying to kill for more. Chop the tower first, comrade. Come on. Yep, now finally they, they, they get rid of that um, ex Nova, the guy who can defense very well. That yeah. is pretty sad. And as I told you, just one small mistake. No buyback. Alchemist died, and then that's it.
Yep, and all they have to do is just try and buy time for Abing to no get the kill way. onto the tower yeah. and the Rex. Freezing field being used and a dunk by Hannah. There goes our fool and GG called Cyclops and I I think I has been called. Oh my Alright. <laughs> Oh, that's it, it, guys. Clutch gamers are the victorious. Wow, what a game! Oh, it's, it's cool, right? Uh, sorry, man. Okay, okay.